let's start with today's interesting recipe of gulios or rice marbles. Let me take you through the ingredients. There are very few ingredients. So this is 100 grams of regular kolam rice. You can also use basmati rice. This is 50 grams of boiled rice. You can also use the goan boiled rice. Now I've washed each of them really well under water and I'm going to soak them in about uh, a cup and a half, a, one and a half cup of water for about five hours. This is half a cup of thick coconut milk, half a cup of grated jaggery or jaggery or ghoul. This is half a teaspoon of nutmeg or zyphal powder and one fourth teaspoon of cardamom or elaichi powder. And I'm just going to uh, grind the elaichi to a fine powder and then mix everything well together. And those are our ingredients. So let's start with the recipe. So after the rice has soaked really well for 5 hours, which is very important for this recipe, we are going to drain the water out from uh, both of the rice, that is the kolam as, uh, as well as the boiled rice. And I am going to transfer this to my mixer jar. It's okay if a little bit of water goes into it, about a teaspoon or, or so. But try to drain out as much as you can. Now we are going to add both the powders, that is the nutmeg and the cardamom. We are going to add the grated jaggery or the ghoul or the jaggery. And we are going to add a pinch of salt. We are going to add the coconut milk. And now we are going to grind all of this to this kind of a very smooth paste. Now I have heated a non-stick pan. I would recommend that you use a non-stick pan. It's easier. And I'm going to add this paste to this pan or pot. And I'm going to stir it on a medium flame. And you will see that it instantly starts to thicken. Keep stirring it on a low to medium flame. Don't keep the flame very high. And after some time you will realize after a minute or so that everything starts coming together. And since it's a non-stick pan, you know, it's easier to work with. Just keep stirring it and you will see that everything comes together and the mixture starts leaving the sides of the pot or the pan. This took me about just hardly 3 to 4 minutes till everything came together. So just keep stirring it. And you'll see that it starts to leave the sides of the pan, all of the mixture. Try to scrape the sides also. And then turn off the flame and just let it rest in the pan for about another 2-3 to three minutes. After that, I'm going to transfer it to a plate and let it come to room temperature. But we want it to be a little bit warm, not completely cool. So it has to be a little bit warm. Now I'm going to add a few drops of clarified butter or ghee. And I'm going to knead this into a very smooth dough. Now since it's warm and we've added the ghee, it's very easy to knead it to a nice smooth dough. And now I'm just going to grease the palms of my hand with some clarified butter or ghee. And then make very small, uh, round, even sized balls. And you can see how easily they form into these balls. And then all we're left to do is just deep fry them till they're nice and dark golden brown. Remember to fry them on a low to medium flame, not on a high flame. And keep uh, stirring the pan also as you fry it. So I hope you give this recipe a try guys. It's super super easy and it's really delicious. And as these balls start to cool down after deep frying, they start to harden and you get these lovely crunchy rice balls or gulios.
today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you'll get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.